Hello, hello. This day can be done seriously. Oh my God. So as promised, I'm gonna be making you a homemade body butter. I got this recipe out of my oil and glass book that you can get off of Amazon. It has all kinds of Young Living essential oil recipes. And if my dog barks, I apologize because the mailman is due any minute. I just got off the phone with unemployment. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, so this is what you're going to need. You're going to need a double boiler, and I don't have one. So if you have a small saucepan, just fill it with water and then set like a stainless steel bowl or even a glass bowl you can put down over the top of the pan. You're going to need a quarter cup and a half cup measuring. And you are going to need a teaspoon measuring spoon. All right, those are the tools of the trade. Now you're going to need organic virgin coconut oil. Okay, you can buy it Walgreens, Walmart, Amazon, and Shea butter. Now I had to get this off of Amazon. I could not find the unrefined Shea butter anywhere. And I got the grade A ivory. 100% pure organic. And then you're going to need some sweet almond oil. Okay. And vitamin E. You can also find this in the vitamin aisle at your local Walmart or Walgreens. So that's the base. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to melt the coconut butter or the coconut oil and the shea butter. We're going to melt that in our pan. And then once that's all melted, we're going to take it off the heat and we're going to let it cool a little bit. Then we're going to add our oils. And then we're going to add our essential oils. You don't want to add essential oils to extremely hot water because you don't want the power of the oils to be altered in any way. So, my recipe calls for a half a cup of coconut oil. And this stuff melts so easy, it'll even melt in your hand <laughs> from your body heat. So you just measure out a half a cup. Make sure you press it down in there because you want, okay, so we want half a cup of that. Right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a half a cup of the shea butter. Now this is a little grittier than the coconut oil. Okay, so you're going to put half a cup in there. It's a little grittier and it's a little more dense. How's everybody doing? Hopefully you're all healthy and you're not going stir crazy. Get outside in the yard, do some yard work today. I know I have to go out there and rake tons of gravel from the snow plow that's up into my yard. Okay, so there's a half a cup of the shea butter. So then what you do, or what I'm going to do, is I'm just going to heat this up until it's completely melted. 
I'm not going to allow it to boil. I'm just going to heat it up until it's melted. And then I will come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I have that all melted. And that's what it will look like. It's totally liquefied. And you don't want to put anything into it right away. You want to let it cool a little bit. So that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to add our vitamin E oil and our almond oil. And then we're going to choose some essential oils that we want to add to it. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So this has been cooling. I melted it over a double boiler and it's been cooling. So now you can add your other oils in it. Hi. <laughs> and what my recipe calls for is two tablespoons of sweet almond oil. And sweet almond oil is very moisturizing for your skin. It's the number one, it even beats coconut oil for moisturizing your skin. And then our vitamin E oil, we need one teaspoon. Oops, darn it, excuse me. We need one teaspoon of that. So just squeeze it on out there. And vitamin E, we all know the benefits of vitamin E for your skin. So I'm going to add that to my mixture. Excuse me. And now it is cooled enough where it's not so hot that I can add my essential oils. Now there are all kinds of essential oils that you can use. You do not need to use as many as I'm putting in my body butter. Um, you could put peppermint in there. Peppermint would be an awesome, refreshing, cooling, invigorating, um, oil to put in your body butter would feel really good and cooling on your skin. There's lavender. We all know the benefits of lavender. I happen to like patchouli. Patchouli, I like the smell and I also like the benefits it gives my skin. Um, cypress oil. Cypress oil is another one that's really good to use on your skin and it's got an invigorating fresh scent. Um, geranium oil, if you're into the florals, geranium oil is also good for your skin and it's got an uplifting scent to it. And frankincense. We all know the power of frank in your skin, amongst other things. But I like to save frank for my face because I use this to um, help diminish wrinkles and it just supports your aging skin. <laughs> um, kind of keeps it preserved a little longer, you know. When you get old, you got to worry about preservation. So my recipe calls for 10 drops. Well, I'm going to use more than one oil. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put three drops of lavender and it comes out one drop at a time. And I'm going to put three drops of my patchouli. And this is thicker, so you gotta wait a little longer. One, two, three. Okay. Oh, and it smells so good. Patchouli is like one of my favorite oils. And then I'm gonna try cypress. And I love cypress. It's an evergreen. It's a Mediterranean, um, Italian evergreen. And it smells so good. I'm going to put three drops of that in. One, two, three. All right. Let me smell that goodness. Mmm. Lovely. And then what you want to do is you want to just kind of stir it up in there. Okay. Now this is going to stay a liquid for quite a while. And we want it to harden up so that we can whip it with a mixer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this in the fridge just until it solidifies just a little bit and then I'm going to whip it up and I'll show you how I do that.
when I come back. Okay, so I stuck it in the fridge and it went solid again. And then what you want to do is you want to let it sit out till it gets room temperature because then you're going to whip it up on low. And you can see how easily this looks up and it smells great. It's so nice. And what this does is it just makes it lighter and fluffier so that it's easier to put on. So easy to do. Oop. <laughs> All right, just make sure it's whipped up really, really good. And then it will look like this. And then what you want to do is find a container. This is an empty container with a screw on lid that I saved. I save all my containers for stuff like this. And I'm just going to put it in there and it's going to be ready to go. Nice thick consistency and it melts as soon as it touches your skin. So a little bit goes a long way. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Mm-mm. Homemade body butter, guys. You gotta try it. I'll link the ingredients and everything that you need with this video. And if you have any questions, give me a call. And if you'd like to sign up to be a member of Young Living, just let me help you do that. There's nothing to it. All right.